precious memory. What a song. Thank you, all him timers. And welcome to an eating with Dan Haven and all the country him timers. And uh, we'll be around for the next hour. We usually are. It's good to see you out there by your TV. We have the songs picked out as usual. We've been praying about the program. Hoping the blessings will be there for you. And do you feel the presence of the Lord? Ah, there's not another feeling in the world like it, is there? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, we're going to uh, start with the trio, and let's see what the girls uh, are going to do for us. All right, girls. Okay, we're going to do a song that would relate to each of our mothers, because we all heard our mother pray for us. Mom's in heaven now. And but we remember those prayers, so. I looked upon the hillside where mother had been laid. I saw the pretty flowers they placed upon her grave. And there alone beside her, I then I'd like to take just a, a little bit of time here. We are celebrating mothers and all ladies, young girls, whoever wants to come on uh, May 9th at uh, 6 o'clock p.m. at Father's House Fellowship Building behind Father's House Church in Hartford. We're having a mother and daughter banquet that night, starting at 6 o'clock and starting with a potluck supper. We have a speaker, Denise Bonecutter, to be there and other things. And... Um, that's on May 9th, and all you ladies are invited. Bring someone that's special to you. You come, and if you don't have daughters, if your mom's not living, bring a special lady with you. Let's just have a good time on May 9th, and you can call me in New Haven if you have questions, and we'd love to see you there. Okay. Thank you. 
And let's go on all the singing and Debbie Dobro. Yes, yes, She's yes. up next. And I want to say Happy Mother's Day to everyone out there and say hi to Doris, and I know she's a mother. It's Happy Mother's Day, and to Miss Nina Butcher, and to all the mothers. And Faith's got a picture. As soon as she's ready, I want everyone to see our mother, Hilda McDaniel. She's with Jesus now. She passed away in 1983, and she sang with me as the McDaniel Trio. But you know she's with God, and that's something special that she had left us like Evelyn's song she taught us right from wrong and I'm so grateful for that heritage of our mother and our dad that's Hilda Pauline McDaniel that's mommy beautiful and we got another one you remember the old cat eyeglasses? That's my mommy, <laughs> and that's me. The little Debbie Toehead. <laughs> <laughs> my husband said, I'm his wife. So. But this song, I don't want to look back. I have nothing to look back for. Just listen to the words. I've come too far to look back. Look around, there's no happiness, there's no reason for living. Life can give you a broken dream, full of sorrows and fears. Turn around, don't look back again, face the new day before you, place your heartaches in Jesus. He can mend broken dreams. I've come too far to look back. My feet have walked through the valleys. I've climbed mountains, crossed rivers, desert places I've known. But I'm nearing the home shore. The redeemed are Far to look back. I've come too far to look back again. There is nothing behind me. All the treasures I used to love have all faded from view. A new day ahead for me. All my heartaches are over, for I've left them at Calvary, where my new life begins. I've come too far to look back. My feet have walked through the valleys. I've climbed mountains, crossed streets. Desert places I've known, but I'm nearing the home shore. The redeemed are rejoicing, heaven's angels are singing. I've come too far to look back. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Good. Come to far, look back. No, 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 never want to go back on the Lord. Mm -mm. No. All right, uh, let's go on with uh, my better half, Faith Heyman, and see what she got for us. All right, Faith? Okay, this is not a Mother's Day song, but <coughs> Evelyn can get the other camera on the picture right there. And... 
since it's close to Mother's Day. <clears throat> this is my beautiful mom when she gets it on there. Mary Eileen Markham Carney. Yes. And that's my wonderful dad who's in heaven now. They're having a good, good time. And just the title of the song reminds me of this, of both of them, the beautiful rose. That's two beautiful roses. <laughs> say the words because I can't yes. sing it. <laughs> Just like my mom and dad. They never owned treasures like diamonds or gold. They had no earthly mansion down here to be stoned. But the treasure Jesus gave them, <laughs> no money can buy. For he gave them salvation and a home in the sky yes. where they're at right now.
roses. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. mom and dad. <laughs> okay. Uh, I tried to do my best on that, but when you cry, you can't sing, or I can't. <laughs> we want to thank uh, Anonymous Donor. We are blessed by visiting with you all on Monday night. Keep up the work for Jesus, your special friend in Christ. Thank you. You know who you are. God bless you. Okay, Dan. Oh, that's good faith. Thank you very much. And uh, it's good to remember our parents. I had parents. Forgot their picture. So I might get it on next time. But the Spirit of the Lord is with us, and we appreciate that above everything else. Yeah, we do. All right. And uh, Cheryl Knight, she is up next. And uh, what are you going to do for us, Cheryl? Put your hand in the hand. Put your hand in the hand? Faith got to start at crying. <laughs> and that don't help things. <laughs> <laughs> when you get to thinking some of the people that's gone, it's, and you go get to see them again, you get happy about that. Good. Hey, our address, P.O. Box 422, Syracuse, Ohio, 45779. We love to get your mail, folks. Absolutely. Know who you are, where you're at, we're catching the program, and we appreciate everything you do for us. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. The end is up next. Sharon Kelp. And 
She has her Bible, she has a song. All right, Sharon. Uh, hello, everybody. I'd like to share with you Philippians chapter 2, starting with verse 4. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under this earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And uh, I'm not going to be able to sing. I ain't got no breath. So I'm just reading my Bible today. can't breathe any more. Uh. Okay. Sorry. All right, Sharon. I thought you could speak at this time, so... All right, that would uh, bring up Sandra. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, what are you going to be doing, Sandra? If I could hear my mother pray again. That would be something, wouldn't it? Yes. Be 
my mother. Oh, I didn't know you had it on that. Louise did. I didn't even see that. Yes. That was my mother. She lived to be 89, 89 years old. Sure. <laughs> and, still, and I still want to send a belated birthday to, to Joanne Cunningham. They always watch a program, and it was the fourth. And my daughter Lisa was the fifth of May, so I wanted to send them a belated <laughs> birthday. Oh, that's fine, mm -hmm. lady. Thank you, Sandra. Jason Carroll, they're up next. the Lord today and we're singing another song or two. Maybe he's still able to sing and play, so that's what we do it for. <laughs> I do it for the Lord and for other people. Uh, we're going to try the one here. It is Well With My Soul. Good song. It's been around for many years. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrow like deep billows roll, whenever I'm loved, thou hast taught. It is 
Mother's Day song here we'd like to do. Dan always liked this song, and uh, we can sing along or whatever. Whoever wants to sing along will be fine. Yeah. When, when the, the cold, cold winds through the, the pine begins to call, and the shadows soon across my path we fall. And I seem to learn the spirit of the grave. Then I sing the hymn they sang at Mother's grave. Oh, I love the hymn they sang at Mother's grave. And I always sing them on my service. It's the only thing I find that can bring cheer to an orphan life that is so sad and weird. For my father's life was broken from that day. With his head bowed down, I saw him walk away. God in heaven only knows the time I cried. Since the hour that my darling mother died. Oh, I love the hymn they sang at Mother's grave. And I always sing them on my starkest day. It's the only thing I find that can bring cheer to an orphan life that is so sad and dreary. To an orphan life that is so sad and Did you care? Yeah, I remember that song. That's that's good. I always liked that. Always liked that. And it sounded good. Hmm? It sounded good on that. Thank you. I kind of forgot some of the words. <laughs> All right. An evening with Dan Heyman, the country hymn timers. And we got to the place where we want to say, what time is it? Come forth, Daniel. What? Charlie and Dan time. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> Those slacking off. Yes, Charlie and Dan time. <laughs> uh, we'll take advantage of this, John. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot to say right now. <laughs> Faith said that was enough. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> well, Charlie, we're getting down into the lovely month of May. Yes. I was trying to think the other day. Uh, the whippoorwills, whippoorwills, do they start in April or May? Seems to me like about the first part of May somewhere. Yeah. I heard one last night. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's been true. I know. They, I always did hear them out there. Yeah. 
Yeah, Sandra heard him last night. Up in the tree. That was. I don't know. That was. That would have been uh, the last. Uh, last April, or last part. Yeah, well, about the last April. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love that. I love those days. I know one night they woke me up out there. It sounded like he's sitting right down on top of the house, <laughs> hollering. Yeah, I think I've met this before. Me and my brother Harry had some Sid's dad. We got an old 52 Chevrolet pickup truck I had. We drove out in the country and uh, had a real good, uh, real, real tape recorder and a good microphone. We drove out in the country and down over a little grade and I just stopped the old truck and turned the engine off and there was a the wheel not too far away. Boy, did that ever sound good. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a tree up there on the side of the bank and uh, there was a tree frog up there. Same time mm -hmm. that Hoover Will was whooping. And then uh, Harry said, the tree frog up there. <laughs> so we was listening to the <laughs> night sounds. But that was a number of years ago. And I still got that recording. The Bob White, I hadn't heard that for years. I haven't either. We used to have them all the time. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what happened to them around in our area. Probably other places, I imagine, do have the. Sid said the winter of 77 or 78 almost wiped them out. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. It has been seemed like about that long. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it has. Used to enjoy them. Yeah. All right. Anything else, Charlie? Uh, not that I think of right away. All right. I thought that maybe another story might pop <laughs> in your mind there. But, but. All right. Uh, I'm not trying to read it a little bit. I know, I know how people enjoy these. <laughs> so. Sometimes you run out for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you keep thinking the time goes back up. All right. All right. Charlie. It says an old saying. I have heard an old, old saying, which is very, very true. And I've thought a lot about it, so I'll tell it unto you. Yes, I'll tell it again, the saying about the smile which God has lent. It is worth a million dollars, and it doesn't cost a cent. Babies have this art of smiling when they are so very young. Little children also have it, long its praises have been sung. Old folks have the art of smiling, even though they're gray, gray and bent. It is worth a million dollars, and it doesn't cost a cent. Maidens have the art of smiling. Young men have it too. We know fathers, mothers, and all others still can smile wherever they go. Let us use this art quite freely. Tis a gift which God has lent it, and it's worth a million dollars, and it doesn't cost a cent. When we smile, we make folks happy. If our smile is kind and true, smile seems very much like a sunshine when it's shining from the blue. Let us smile and offer praise for this gift which God has lent, for it's worth a million dollars, and it doesn't cost a cent. Love you all out there in TV land. Just keep those cards, letters, emails, and phone calls coming in. All right. That's Charlie. And that's good. All about a smile. And maybe you folks out there would like to see him time to smile more. Sometimes you get wrapped up in the key and the songs, and, the, and the, you kind of forget. But there's a smile. <laughs>
We're going to play an instrumental. Sid has a... Uh, the girls are going to be singing the next one. We're going to put an instrumental in. What's the name of this, Sid? I don't know. You call it a ground. What key in? What, what key in? G? C? Oh, then G. Uh, all right. back or trying to keep up with you Sid but we was having trouble uh, I do want to say this while I go when I mentioned the mother and daughter banquet I said it's May 9th that's Tuesday night that's tomorrow night yeah. so always been that way that's father's house <laughs> church fellowship <laughs> building. what did he say it's always been that way <laughs> <laughs> yeah it has but it's closer than I thought gee tomorrow night come and be with us Faith's going to show some pictures of our precious mommy. And uh, do we want to show these first girls and talk about them before we sing, Heaven Will Never Welcome a Sweeter Mama? Probably. Probably? I did not. Okay, Sandra's done hers, she said. And who she got on there, Faith, now? You show us and we'll talk. Oh, that's me. <laughs> me and my mommy. And uh, I, I look like her now. I, every day I look in the mirror, I can see mommy. I look like my mommy. 1987, that picture was taken of me and my mommy, Eunice Martin. And I know she's in heaven. I was there when she went. When she went away, I was there. Eunice Martin, my precious mommy. No. No, Linda, but she's going to show your mommy, I think. Takes a little while with these cameras. There she is. Yeah. yeah, that's Fanny Clark, and that's my mom. And I was going to say my beautiful mom, but then I thought about saying that I look like her too. So <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know whether I should say that or not. <laughs> uh, she passed away in 2002, and there's also no doubt in my mind where she is. Mm -hmm. As Yay. my daughter and my two daughters and myself stood around by her bed, she waited on my older daughter to get there. She was away, farther away, and when she showed up, she got a hold of her and she knelt down by her and she said, Grandma, I'm here. And Mom took one big sigh and went to heaven. Yep, mm -hmm. I believe in that. Really? Okay. Her favorite spot was sitting by the window Rocking in her old rocking chair With her apron and her dress of calico Listening to the raindrops Watching the falling snow 
today I went again to the home place down the lane where I played when just a child all the good times possess my memory I walked up the steps, there worn and weathered. The porch was green with moss, it's falling down. Then I saw it, there hung a wreath on Mama's door. Oh, if I had been there. Just one day before If only I had spent More time with Mama that still have your mothers with you. I'd like to beg you to spend more time with your mom. You may not think it now, but one of these days you will be sorry that you didn't because I'm sorry I didn't. And my mom lived to be 91 years old and I, I wished I would have spent more time with her yeah. than what I did. Yeah. So if you're younger and you still have your mother with you, spend more time with her. Yeah. Yeah. Let her know you love her. Amen. Let her know. Yes. Yes. Debbie's up next.
Yeah, hallelujah. Soon and very soon we're going to see the king. That's good. That's good. My wife better have faith in him when she's up next and faith. The name Jesus. is Looking Beyond. That's Cheryl, and we'll be ready to meet him. And our time's all gone. This has been an evening with Dan Heyman, the country hymn timers. You folks out there tuned in, hope you have been uplifted and enjoyed the broadcast. Catch you the next time. 